Yeah, this is now my traveling companion because that is the only way that I could fit the screen into my little bug. But it's a really nice screen and I'm excited about it. Yeah, so now I am going to drive back home with this screen next to me and hope that it does not decapitate me in a tragic accident. The people that I just bought it from were very nervous. Um, I think this might be a little bit of a bad neighborhood, but I am glad that they were more nervous than I was because they seemed like they were nice. All right, so homeward bound. I, uh, I called my mother and told her where I was just in case I disappeared. So far, so good. Um, I think I took a wrong turn and now I'm waiting for a train to go by and I have no idea how long this train is. <laughs> This is why I left early, because I was afraid that I might be late for my client that's coming in later today. You never know when weird shit like this is going to happen. Look at this train! It just keeps going! I think I'm going to try to take an illegal U-turn. See, I like Craigslist. You could buy things for cheap on Amazon.com or go to Target, but then you wouldn't get the sense of adventure and the possibility that Somebody could kill somebody else. Speaking of people killing somebody else, I'm gonna call my mother so that she knows I didn't get killed. I just left a message, I'm so disappointed. I could have been getting murdered. I'm sure that there are lots of really nice people that live there, like the people that sold this to me. They totally thought that I was gonna murder them. But I wasn't, I just wanted a screen. We're going back over this bridge! Woohoo! Yeah! I believe this is a bridge going over the Hudson. I am making good time! But nobody called me! Nobody called me! I mean, the other screen owners are hogging their screens. Either that or they gave them to somebody else. Which I suppose is acceptable. I am the proud owner of a Shoji screen. I didn't tell you my ulterior motive for getting this screen. I have just always wanted one, like for a long time, and I never had an excuse to buy one. I've tried to come up with them several times over the years because they're normally so expensive. They're usually like $100 or $200 or even $300 depending on, you know, what kind you get. And like, I just could never quite justify it. But then I was like, oh my god, I need to get one for my chair massage booth. And then I was like, oh my god, people are selling them on Craigslist for like $25. That's what, this one was supposed to be $25. And then I got there and they let me have it for $20 because they thought I was going to kill them. It is so funny to meet strangers and buy their stuff. I hadn't thought ahead of time about the whole like, meeting strangers and going to their house part of it, like how weird that is. They seemed very uncomfortable and I was too, like, but at the same time it's kind of fun. It's kind of like Halloween was always my favorite holiday growing up, partly obviously because of dressing up and everything, but the other part is because you had an excuse to go up to strangers' houses and like you could peek inside and like normally you're not allowed to do that. And like, it's just kind of like that. It's kind of like trick-or-treating, minus the costumes and the candy, because then they probably would definitely think that you were going to kill them. Rocks, 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 rocks. Ah! Can you see the mountains in the distance? Isn't it beautiful? Before I picked up the screens, I was talking about my reasons for doing the things that I do. And I was wondering, I was like, oh, I got a bit impassioned when I was talking about that. What is that about? And I realized that it's because it's something that bothers me when people assume that... They assume that I do the things that I do because I am part of a stereotype. So when a group that I fall under, whether it's women or sort of like new agey people or hippies or whatever you want to call me, like... That's the thing. It bothers me when somebody assumes that I am doing certain things that I do simply because I fall under that stereotype and that um, I'm just like blindly following like the dogma of that stereotype or something like that. And 
it's like I don't mind if somebody calls me a hippie or whatever. I really don't care, but it just bothers me when people assume that, for example, I eat the way that I eat because I'm a hippie, and because that's not true. I eat the way that I eat because that's what I found that works for me. So I don't hug trees because I'm a tree hugger, and that's what tree huggers do. I hug trees because it feels good. <laughs> So there. So almost home. Made it home without any bizarre things happening. I wanted to share more of my trip back with you, but I was listening to music and on my phone, and I was also using my phone as a map. Not that I needed that so much on the way home, but um, yeah, I could not listen to music and film at the same time, and I chose listening to music. I'm sorry. I really wanted to rock out with you, but I couldn't. Someday I'll have separate devices for camera-ing and music-ing and, and other things. But for now, I'm just gonna sing something for you. I know, I know, I know You put your hand on top of mine You're talking fast but talking blind And I can't bring myself to meet your and if you want me to say you don't have to change, I've been waiting patiently. Well, love can wait for me. I'm done with poetry. I'm done with prose. I'm done with dressing up these words in delicate clothes. I'm done with dancing on this here bar like a begging dog. All right, I gotta stop. I'm almost home. I'm almost home. I made it. I made it. All right, so I knew that you would be dying to see the mystical Shoji screen that I drove three hours to get. So I unfolded it, took it out of my car, just for you. Here it is. Ah. Pretty nice. I think it'll do the job. Thank you for going on this adventure with me today. I hope that you enjoy talking to strangers and buying things from them safely.